But the interesting thing, and I've talked about this before, but I just I love talking about the fact that the word extraordinary, if you break it down, you've got extra, and then you've got ordinary. And it's doing the ordinary things, which what, what does ordinary mean? It's just simple, easy, well not easy, but simple, um, regular. So it's doing the simple, regular things, but the extra means you're just doing more of it. But the power of this word comes in the extra. And so it's just doing more of those ordinary things, doing more of those simple things, doing more of those things that you already know how to do, more than the people around you, and then ultimately more than you've ever done before, which is a continual growing process. But in everything that you do and throughout your day, hundreds of times throughout your day, if you just asked yourself, what would the extraordinary version of me do in this situation? And you can ask yourself this hundreds of times a day if you really, if you really thought about it. Like, like when your alarm clock goes off in the morning, you could ask yourself, what would the extraordinary version of me do right now? Would the extraordinary version of me hit snooze and, and keep sleeping? Or would the extraordinary version of me wake up and, and hit the ground running? But I found so much encouragement in that word because I feel like so many of us, you know, we sit back and we're thinking, you know, in order to be extraordinary, I've got to figure out some new way of doing things. I've got to invent some new process. I got to create some new way to market my business. I've got to do something that something that's no one else has done before. But if you look at this definition, if you break down the word extraordinary, it's just not the case. The most successful people on this planet just mastered the basics. They, ma they became masters at doing the ordinary things and just put massive amounts of effort into that and did more than anybody else ever did. And so for me, that was like, it was the most liberating word and the most liberating way to view, you know, what I wanted to ultimately do in my life. And so that's the way I look at my life. Like, I wanna be extraordinary. And the encouraging thing about it is that I can just be an ordinary person that just does more than everybody else. And then I can achieve that. I can, ex if I wanna have extraordinary things, if you wanna have extraordinary things, if you wanna live an extraordinary life, then you don't have to have any like incredible skills, abilities. You just have to be willing to do an extraordinary amount of work. You have to be willing to do extraordinary things to get it. It's your story and, and you can create it today. Uh, that's That's been the fascinating thing that I've seen in, in my life and, and in so many others is that just because the narrative of that story has been one way for five, 10, 20, 30 years doesn't mean that that story can't change tomorrow. Um, but you have to be the superhero of that story for it to change. Again, when you go back to the definition of extraordinary, it's just those ordinary, simple, the basics, those things that you know what to do, and just going all in on those, but you, like, you're fully capable. There's no specific talent, skill, or uh, ability for the average person to become extraordinary. It's literally just the amount of work and effort that they're putting into it.